Right, all right. Peaceful vibrations, everyone. Peaceful vibrations, everyone. I'm up uh, late this night. Um, and I am up because I was compiling a list. Um, compiling a list, doing research, compiling a list of um, health issues and just thinking about some things that are associated with numbers. So today I am going to discuss numerology and health. So one may say, what does one have to do with the other? What does my birthday have to do with my health? It has more to do with your health than you may realize. Oh, by the way, I don't own the rights to the music. I just got to have my music in the background bobbing. Um, but it has a lot more than we think. And when I'm speaking of numbers, I'm not necessarily speaking of the day you were born, but that's the main thing that I'm speaking about. This may affect you based on your life path as well. So you may be a number six person with a nine life path. Well, the nine health stuff that I may talk about with the number nine may pertain to you. So I want you to take into account, um, the things that I say and the information that I give today and think about how it pertains to you in your own personal life. Does it resonate with you? Um, can you relate to it? And feel free to provide any um, feedback. This video is not released anywhere. So this is something I'm just recording live. So you guys are getting first dibs um, on this video before I put it on YouTube and before I put it um, on my regular page. So we're going to talk about, we're going to go in order, and then we're going to go a little bit into the master numbers, but not too deep into the master numbers because um, the stuff with the master numbers, master numbers are just higher vibrations of numbers that came before it. So it's just, you know, more magnified. So we're going to start with people um, who are number ones. This also um, pertains to people with a one life path, a life path equaling to one. Or people born on the 1st of a month, the 10th of a month, the 19th of a month, or the 28th of a month. People, so let me pull up my notes real quick. Come a little closer to me. You hear my neighbors stomping upstairs. <laughs> so, they be so loud. Anyway. People born under the number one vibration or that have number one in their life path on certain placements, the common health issue that you see with the number ones deal with the eyesight. They tend to have issues with their vision. So that, you know, you might find some of them that, that squint a lot. You might find some of them um, that wear glasses. It's important for number ones to take care of their vision. And so I also wrote down some suggested herbs or dietary suggestions specifically for um, each number and pertaining to possible ailments that that number tends to commonly suffer from. So some suggested herbs will be like ginkgo biloba, eye bright, um, and things that... Hold on, let me change this right here. And one, by the way, is a fire number. But people born under the number one vibration tend to have challenges with their eyesight. So you want to dig into herbs that deal with healing the eyesight. If you're a person who's a number one who um, is a diabetic, you want things that will cleanse the pancreas. You want herbs that will cleanse and heal the pancreas because the... Um, when you're dealing with something like diabetes, diabetes deals with the pancreas needing to be cleansed and the pancreas affects your eyesight if it is not cleansed properly. So you want to think about that. Um, people born under the number two, two is a water number. Those are people born on the second of a month, 11th, which is a master number. People born on the 20th of a month, or the 29th, which is also a master number because that equals 11. 
they tend to have colon issues, digestive issues, and they tend to have skin issues. Something that uh, Dr. Sebi used to say is that uh, eczema is asthma of the skin. So I'll give you an example. And this is also people who have life paths under this two vibration as well. This can pertain to you guys as well. Prime example, I was having a conversation um, with a prospective client of mine, and they were talking about their baby having really, really bad eczema. And I was talking to them, giving them a kind of like an informal consultation on the phone. And then I said, what is your baby's birthday? They said, oh, my baby's born on the 26th of a particular month. And so I wrote down the whole birthday. And I'm like, that baby got two somewhere in that vibration because the, the severity of their skin issues. And I'm like, the skin issues, it's a baby. Their skin issues are being reflected by the dietary issues, what's going on in their colon. So when I did the baby's life path, the baby's life path was an 11. 11 is a master number two. The baby has digestive issues that's reflecting on the skin. <laughs> that's how deep that goes. So if you're someone born under the number two or have a two life path, it's important because two is a water number to have good water intake. You need to drink a lot of water. Especially if you are a master level number two. That means if you're born on the 11th or your life path is an 11, or you're born on the 29th or your life path is a 29-11. Okay? Some uh, herbs that might be good that help with the digestive tract, rhubarb root, cascara sagrada. Cascara sagrada is a very bitter herb, um, but it is very good for the colon. Now, if you're trying to give that to a baby, the baby don't really typically probably want cascara sagrada unless you expose your baby to bitters at a young age. Then it might not be as bad for them. They might, it's not bad for them at all, but it might not be as bad tasting. They might get used to the taste of the bitter. But that's a whole nother thing. You would have to ex expose your baby to bitters at a very young age, and, you know. Um, but typically, the babies might be like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> if you try to give it to a baby, kind of like the videos where you see people feed a baby a lemon and the baby makes the face like, like, what is that? <laughs> so um, you can also give some um, some other herbs that um, deal with cleansing the blood, which will also clear the skin that are not bitter in taste. Something like burdock root. Burdock root has a natural sweet taste and it also cleanses the blood and helps to clear the skin. Burdock root is excellent for the skin. So if your colon or digestive issues is reflecting on the skin, you wanna get into herbs that are blood cleansers and you definitely want to shift them some things in your diet. Um, burdock root I wrote down dandelion root is another good blood cleanser now if you're gonna get dandelion the actual greens the greens are very very bitter you can handle the bitters that's amazing bitters are very good for the colon very good for the body very healing but if you're trying to give that to like a baby or you're someone who is not ready for the bitters yet then I would suggest something like a dandelion leaf tea or a dandelion root tea. Of course, the root is going to be a little bit stronger for that particular herb. Well, much stronger, but they all still help. Now, dandelion, I, I've heard of people using dandelion as a substitute for coffee. It's not as strong as coffee, but it has a little bit of a strong taste, but it's not something that's usually, it's not bitter, the root or the leaf, if it's dried leaves. So you can make that into a tea. You can make it into like a hot tea, put a little uh, agave or honey in it to sweeten it. I wouldn't suggest sugar of any kind. And if you can, if you're a diabetic, you kind of don't want to go crazy with those diabetic sugars because of the aspartame, which can cause nerve damage. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, if you're born under the number three, three is a fire number, just like number one. Three people are born on the 3rd of a month, the 12th of a month, the 21st of a month, the 30th of a month. Even though what's interesting to me about the number three people is they tend to have very lively, vibrant personalities. They, they tend to be very energetic and fiery. 
But from a health perspective, you'll find a lot of threes suffer from low blood pressure or hypotension. You always hear about hypertension. You don't usually hear about hypotension. Hypertension, y'all know, is high blood pressure. Well, threes tend to have low blood pressure. Um, and low blood pressure can be caused by dehydration. Dehydration. So I would suggest um, more water intake for number three people if this is something that you are suffering from or if your life path deals with the number three. I would also suggest uh, salt because it's hypotension, not hypertension. So your body may need more salt. And if you're going to get salt, I wouldn't recommend iodized salt. I would recommend the sea salt or the pink Himalayan, which are more mineral rich. Um, also, licorice tea, if you have low blood pressure and you're born under that number three vibration. And last but not least, uh, iron building herbs such as sarsaparilla, such as uh, dandelion root again. Burdock root is pretty good in iron as well. So that's another herb that you can incorporate in your diet to help with that. Uh, moving on to people who are born under the four vibration, whether their birthday is on a four day or whether their um, or whether their life path may be under the number four. These are people born on the fourth of a month, on the thirteenth of a month, or the thirty first of a month. Or the 22nd of a month, 22nd being a master number. So it's magnified for those people born under 22 vibration. Those are people who have to take care of their overall health in general, just general health practices, period. Um, just maintaining regular exercise, proper water intake on a consistent basis as much as possible, fresh raw uh, fruits and vegetables. People who are born uh, who have this four placement in their numerology, they tend to be misdiagnosed when they go to the doctor. When they get sick, the doctors never know what the hell you have. And a lot of times when doctors don't know what you have, the first thing they say is, it's probably viral. It's a classic, classic statement. It's, I, it's probably viral. It looks to be to be viral. Nobody knows what the hell that means. Is it a virus? What are you saying? You saying you got Corona? What are they saying? So um, these people tend to be misdiagnosed. So I would definitely suggest getting uh, second, maybe even third opinions if they try to diagnose you with something. But you don't want to get to a point of diagnosis. You want to make sure that you take care of your overall health in general. Even if you're someone who is a meat eater or whatever, just be conscious of how you're taking in your meat, where you're getting your meat from, um, processing as much as you can. You know, we... When Babylon, so you can only do what you can. Um, but try to balance it. Balance it by incorporating or increasing more water intake, increasing more raw fruits, more raw vegetable intake. That will help a lot, especially uh, green vegetables. You know, you want the chlorophyll. So um, something that I would suggest, though, for people born on the four vibration, because four people tend to have anxiety issues and sometimes depression because they overthink themselves into anxiety and depression sometimes and different mental things. So I would suggest nerve calming herbs because your minds are always overthinking, always constantly. Sometimes you need to calm down. I know a lot of fours that smoke weed, but you may not necessarily need no weed. You can use something else that's natural. That's, you know what I mean? Smoking is not good for the lungs anyway because it builds up mucus. Especially if you're smoking constantly. You know what I mean? But to each his own. To each his own. Everybody's on their own path. Um, so some nerve calming herbs that I wrote down. And every herb that I'm writing down is not it's not limited to only those herbs. There's other herbs that you can easily look up or you can contact me for a consultation. Um, these are not the only herbs. There's herbs everywhere in every part of any land that you're from. <laughs> you could be in South America, North America, um, the Caribbean, uh, Central America, Africa, Europe, there's herbs everywhere on this planet. You can be in Australia and find some herbs and there's herbs that do the same things everywhere. 
You just have to know the herbs from where you're from or where you're at. Um, so some herbs that I suggested for number fours are blue vervain, um, chamomile, lavender, ashwagandha. Those are good for the nerves and the nourishment of the nerves and to calm your energy down. You know, people born under the number five vibration. Those are people born on the fifth of a month, the 14th of a month, or the 23rd. Or who may have a life path under the vibration of five. A lot of them, I tend to notice, they tend to have short attention spans. <laughs> may possibly been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. Um, they tend to have trouble focusing irritability, mood swings. Um, and a lot of them, unfortunately, suffer from addictions. It's not every five, but th there's many of them that do or that have this five vibration in their uh, numerology chart and they have some of these challenges. So what I would suggest is meditation practices to calm the spirit, to help focus and hone in on things when you need to focus. I would also suggest dark green leafy vegetables if you're if you're uh, suffering from mood fluctuations. Dark green leafy vegetables are very helpful, very good for any kind of bipolar disorder or anything, um, major depressive disorder, different things that affect your mood and irritability. Um, dark green leafy vegetables, meaning like spinach, kale, um, collard greens, mustard greens. All them dark green leafy vegetables, kalalu, um, taro green, all of those things. And there's plenty more, of course, dandelion greens as well, even though they're bitter. Um, those are all good for stabilizing moods. In addition to the dark green leafy vegetables, ashwag ashwagandha again. Um, also some mood calming herbs such as... Eucalyptus, maybe eucalyptus essential oil, inhaling that may help um, to calm the spirit, to calm the nerves and help to focus. Lavender, um, and specifically for addiction, you want to get some herbs like uh, St. John's Root if you're suffering from addiction and you're trying to work on it using more natural remedies. Herbs like St. John's Root, um, and if it's something like a, like an alcohol addiction, cause I was thinking a lot of, um, number fives that I owe people with certain five placements, I notice tend to struggle with alcohol as well, um, on their lower vibration. You want liver cleansing herbs. The liver is very important in the body and it helps to cleanse the body and heal it. A lot of people who uh, drink alcohol consistently long-term suffer from cirrhosis of the liver. So what I wrote down was liver cleansing herbs such as milk thistle. There's an herb called milk thistle. It doesn't have dairy and it's not milk. A lot of people ask me that. <laughs> um, burdock root again, dandelion root again. Um, holy basil, which is an herb that helps to protect the liver function as well. So that might be something I would, so if you were suffering from something like alcoholism and you have these five vibrations, either in your life path or maybe throughout your whole name, you got a lot of fives or, or your birthday is under the five vibration and you suffer from addiction. What I would do is I would take the liver cleansing herbs first and then end with the liver protecting herbs so that you can replace the minerals because you can't just remove things from the body. You also have to replace with minerals. Um, moving along to, and, and five, by the way, is an air number, and so is four. Moving on to people born under the six vibration. Six is an earth number. Six being people born on the 6th, the 15th, or the 24th of a month. They tend to have sinus issues and upper respiratory issues. Some herbs that can help with that is yellow dock. That's another bitter. Boy, oh boy, it's another bitter. But those bitters are so essential. And so, you know, the bitters are sacred. They help to heal things in the body, even though the taste is so strong. But if you can keep consuming bitters on a regular daily basis, it won't be that bad after a while. You'll get used to the taste and it won't even be that bad. You could just down it like boom, boom, boom. Nothing. 
Um, but yellow dock is very good for the lungs um, and for the upper respiratory, clearing out congestion. Another herb is Malayan. Malayan is very good. Very, very good for that. And when you think of the sinus area, you think of the ear, nose, and throat. All of those things are connected. So even if you're having something like tinnitus or some type of ear issue, they make Malayan ear oil that you can also use. In addition to that, uh, chaparral. Chaparral is bitter as well, but chaparral is really, really good. Um, for the upper respiratory congestion. When I was um, in Dr. Sebi's village, Dr. Sebi uh, um, would make this paste from chaparral that you would wear on your head and it would help clear out the head and the nasal congestion and all of the stuff, the eye mucus, all of that stuff. Um, and last but not least, putting lemon and lime in your water, lemon or lime. I prefer lime, but if you don't have lime, Kid lemons, things that can clear mucus out of your lungs and out of the system. You're going to spit a lot. You're going to spit a lot of mucus, especially if you have that mucus in you. But that's good. You're getting it out. Um, so that's for the number six. And these are just minor suggestions here and there, you know. For people born under the number seven vibration, and seven is a water number as well. When you hit those water numbers, you know you got to drink more water, y'all. <laughs> I've been telling y'all that um, in these videos. So, um, people born under the number seven, I find, tend to have anxiety and depression issues because they worry a lot. Um, so, very similar um, information as the information that I gave to the number fours. But for number sevens, also, breathing techniques will be very good. Breathing techniques, yoga, positive self talk. Talk yourself out of confrontation. People always say, oh, you crazy if you talk to yourself. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You should talk to yourself. You can talk yourself out of confrontation, out of nonsense. You can talk yourself out of negative thoughts. When I got my psych degree, when I was working on getting my first degree, a psych degree. Yeah, I know I had a psych degree. <laughs> but I was getting my psych degree. That's actually a strategy that is taught in the mental health world. When I was working as a qualified mental health professional years ago, when I lived in another state, I would tell clients to do positive self-talk. There's nothing wrong with talking to yourself if you're doing it in that kind of manner. It's different from a schizophrenic kind of self-talk. <laughs> and schizophrenics aren't talking to themselves in their mind. They're talking to, and I think that that's a spiritual thing about that, but that's a whole nother conversation. Positive self-talk. Talk yourself out of the negativity and out of the fear. When those thoughts come in, oh, you're not smart enough to do this. Oh, you're not good enough to do this. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can accomplish anything. Yeah, I'm smart enough. You talk yourself out of that nonsense and you do what you need to do. Um, in addition to that, nerve calming herbs again. Nerve calming herbs like St. John's Wort, even though I mentioned St. John's Wort for addiction, it's also very good for depression and anxiety. Um, let me see. Valerian root. Valerian root is also another good one. Maca root. Um, I don't know if that was a being that I just saw, but that's okay. <laughs> so I was looking like, oh shoot, maybe a spirit guide. But um, ashwagandha, again, that's another good one um, that also can help. Just a few things. I'm not naming every single herb in the world. Like a, just a few things to kind of, that we can easily, more so easily get access to. Um, also going back to alcoholism, people that suffer from alcoholism tend to have certain mineral deficiencies. Um, vitamin, vital minerals, vitamin, that's what vitamin comes from. Cause it really, we really need minerals more than we really need vitamins. Vitamins are kind of like a synthetic form. But that's a whole other thing. But they tend to have deficiencies in like B6, folate, um, 
and selenium. So you want to make sure you get in those minerals, especially if that's something that you are um, struggling with. And it ain't no judgment because we all got stuff that we struggle with. Um, moving along to people born under the number eight vibration. Eights are people um, either born under these number days that I'm going to say or a life path or may have a lot of eights in their name or first name specifically, different things. This may pertain to you. Um, eights being born on the 8th of a month, the 17th of a month, or being born on the 26th of a month. A lot of eights tend to have issues with their overall health, just like the fours, and they tend to be misdiagnosed, just like the fours, by the doctors. What I will also say from, from, the, what I, from my experience is I notice a lot of eights tend to be comfort eaters, they tend to comfort eat, so they should definitely watch their starch and sugar intake mm -hmm. because you don't want to become diabetic. And starch, as y'all know, or as you may not know, breaks down into sugar when it breaks down in the body. So when you eat too much starch, you're actually eating sugar. <laughs> Even whole wheat. Whole wheat ain't what it used to be. They done fucked with the whole wheat plant. So, um, <laughs> what I would suggest for, um, people with the number eight vibration is water, water suggested really for everybody, but some places, some numbers, I'm going to stress it with a little, a little more water, um, portion control, exercise, appetite, cutting herbs like ginger or foods like ginger, um, fennel Greek, the lemon water again. Uh, cayenne pepper also cuts appetite if you're if you're um if you can handle spice. In addition to that, green tea. Number nines, people and uh, eight is the earth number. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. I forgot. I'm kicking my feet like a kid. <laughs> okay. Um, number nines. Number nines are people born on the 9th of a month, the 18th of a month, or the 27th of a month. I find that a lot of nines tend to suffer from hypertension, whereas the threes have hypotension. The nines have hypertension because they be going off and they be ready to go to war and they be mad hype <laughs> when they get ready. <laughs> so um, what, I, what I find is that a lot of nines suffer from hypertension and pre-existing heart conditions. Hmm. So you want to make be careful and make sure that nines you are practicing breathing exercises when you get upset. You might need to count so you don't tear shit up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't own the rights to none of this music, by the way. So can't nobody say shit to me. But uh, <laughs> let me stop being silly. It's too early to be silly. It's too late to be silly. But um, you want breathing techniques. You want things that will ground you like meditation. You also want to eat things that are good for the heart, the heart's nourishment. Red foods are good for the heart usually. Natural red foods. Not something they didn't put. They don't put some red dye, uh, you know, 40. In, no, 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 no. Not that nonsense. That nonsense causes so many, so many health challenges. It's ridiculous. It causes the fucking ADHD, all kind of shit. But that's another combo. But I would say red foods like pomegranates, like beets, watermelon. Also, because of the hypertension, lots of watery fruits and vegetables, like zucchini, like uh, cucumber. Things with lots of water, watermelon, um, yeah, any kind of watery foods, water soluble foods or fruits. And I'm not going to touch too much onto the master numbers, but what I will say is that I look at the master numbers as being a combination of two elements because the way that they are. So let me explain. Two master numbers that I've discussed before that are recognized by almost every numerologist, by every numerologist that I've ever seen or read or talked to or studied under. 
Now, some uh, numerologists count other numbers as additional master numbers, but everybody agrees on these two, 11 and 22. 11 is considered a water number, but I also consider it a fire number because it's comprised of two ones and ones is fire. So everything that I said that pertained to the fire numbers and to the water numbers, I would pertain, I would, I would add that not for all the fire numbers, everything that pertained to the number one and the number two, because 11 equals two, but it's a two comprised of two ones, I would say would pertain to someone born on the 11th of a month. So make sure you are taking care of and nourishing your eyes and your digestive tracts. If you're born on the 11th or the 29th people born on the 22nd of a month 22nd 222 is considered an air number but i consider it air and water interesting thing about water water is in every element in every element and every element needs water water is that powerful and that you know sacred of an element but 22 to me is, is an air and water. The reason I say air and water is because 22 is a four vibration. It's a higher vibration of four, which is an air number. But it's a four that's comprised of two twos and two is water. So to me, it's like double water. It's almost like water becoming in the gas form. If that makes any sense to y'all. Like when water evaporates, it still exists, but it exists in the gas form. It's no longer in the liquid form. So for people born on the 22nd of a month, I would say be mindful of colon issues and take care of your overall health. So that means also because it's comprised of two twos, high water intake, overall health, and anxiety. So I actually would tell you guys to refer to the information I gave for the number fours, the number twos, and the number sevens. If you are born in the 22nd of a month. It's funny that we were just talking about water and this song came on, comes on. This song is about singing about the river and water. <laughs> Synchronicity, right? Um, so that pretty much concludes. Um, the mini lesson that I'm giving on numerology and the mini information I'm giving on numerology and how it pertains to health. It's like, what does my birthday have to do with my health? It has a lot more than you think. The vibrational energy of the numbers in your birthday can affect you health wise. Mm -hmm. So, um, that is pretty much it. I thank you all, everyone who is listening, whoever is listening now, and everyone who will listen after this. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I didn't ask for any donations for this, but feel free if you want to donate. You don't have to. It's late at night. Ain't nobody up. <laughs> but if you want to donate later, I, that, I, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, every donation counts. Nothing too small, nothing too big. Um, and if you can't, I appreciate you watching and sharing. Um, I'm also going to post this on YouTube. So please subscribe to my YouTube page where I give the numerology information. I give some astrology information. And we also um, can have just general talks on metaphysics and different topics um, as well. Even topics in the community, different things going on. Um, I'm actually going to do another video about just something that I want to discuss. I actually did the video on YouTube, but it recorded funny. So I'm going to redo it. And my next live that I do on YouTube for everyone during, you know, more normal hours, I actually have a surprise. I actually have a surprise for everyone that I'm going to reveal at uh, <laughs> on that next live. So you guys stay tuned. I appreciate and love the support. Hey, y'all, wow, hey, from my ancestors. Thank you all. Aho. Aho. Thank you. Always repping my ancestors, the Suan Nation. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys have a great night. Peace and love.